Well, the snow was melting at high speeds out there. This is really cool stuff. It's about 10 degrees outside, and everybody's excited because the golf season's almost here. What would be all this instruction without a proper short game? So I did a couple of videos on chipping and pitching. Here's one on putting. You saw one from Paul where a good tip was to hold the finish. So let me go through a, uh, a couple of tips right here, a good little lesson as, as far as the technique is concerned. So you want to have the right posture again. So we have to have a balanced body. This thing about eyes over the ball, if that, uh, if that ends up being the case, great. If not, don't worry about it. First thing is I get my body in balance. So I bring in my chest forward, the butt's out, I feel everything through the arches of my feet, driving through the hips. The second thing is the arms and the putter must be hanging in balance below the shoulders. So if I let everything hang below my shoulders, you'll notice that everything will track properly. I have this nice unit, my capital letter Y, two arms and the putter form a nice capital letter Y, and I just let this capital letter Y, the, the momentum of this, swing back and through. So if everything's hanging properly from my shoulders, it will track its own arc. It will track its own line. As long as the putter is hanging below the shoulders in the center of your stance, if you like to apply a little more weight to your left side, then make sure it's still hanging below your sternum. So notice my sternum is right here. That's where I want to play the ball. Right in front of my sternum. Okay? If I like having the weight on my back foot, that's fine too, as long as the putter is hanging in front of the sternum. As long as you're solidly planted on one of your feet, or both of your feet, that's fine. If you're on both your feet and you have a tendency to sway back and through, I would recommend that you stay on your front foot. Notice now how everything is nice and stable. So the putter hangs in front of the sternum, the ball is in front of the putter, and now the ball can be struck at the bottom of the arc, moving the ball forward. Because we're not trying to put the ball in the air, we want this ball to roll properly. Okay? So, my body's in balance, my putter's in balance below my body. That will trap. Now, imagine if I go reach for the ball now. You can see how my arms and putter are not in balance below my shoulders. So now when I take it back, Gravity's going to want to pull it inside. And then I'm going to try to keep it on line because I'm looking for this line here to be nice and straight. Gravity's pulling here and I'm trying to go this way. You'll get that electric eel effect. So if you feel that your backswing is all wobbly, your putter and your arms are not in balance below your shoulders. It's as simple as that. All you yippers out there, <laughs> check your balance. Check that the arms are hanging below the shoulders and you're using the muscles that you're using to stroke the putter are the pectoral muscles and the anterior deltoid muscles, the muscles in front of the shoulder. This will act as a unit, keeping the chest and the upper arms together as one unit. And then from there, I'm pushing back with the left pectoral and deltoid. And then as the putter comes, starts coming back, I'm pushing through with the right pec and deltoid. So my shoulder should feel very, very oily. Notice now my arms can stay intact. If I quit with the shoulders, I'm going to have to continue with my wrists and my hands. So for those of you who have a tendency to be flippy with the wrists, it's because your shoulders aren't moving. So feel that your arms, putter, and shoulders are one triangular unit, and you're moving this unit together with the shoulders, okay? That'll even things up very nicely for you. Especially with today's very fast greens. There's no need to use the, the hands or the arms. So now, I've got nice balance, putters in balance below my shoulders. Move to the ball, okay? So now my putter's hanging below my shoulders. Everything will track wonderfully, okay? Notice a little break in my floor? That's because the drain is a little bit left of that cup right there. 
You can see that <laughs> nice little break in the putts. There we go. All right. For speed, a really good tip on speed. You have short, medium, and long putts. Then you get your extra long putts from one end of the putting green to the other. Real simple. You just want a little reference system to gather the right amount of momentum. So for a short putt, I'm going to bring the putter, the shaft of my putter, back to the inside of my back foot, and then bring the whole shaft of the putter past the front foot, there to there, point A to point B, without interrupting momentum, not shoving and not decelerating. Point A to point B, nice smooth acceleration. That's three to 10 feet. 15 to 25 feet, bring the shaft of the putter all the way to the leg, and then pass the front leg, there to there, without interrupting that nice momentum, okay? Keep your eyes centered on one aspect, one spot, and then look at everything going on in your peripheral vision, okay? My eyes right now are on the ball, but I can see both my hands wiggling right over here. Peripheral vision will take care of your reference points. Long putt, shaft of the putter past the feet. Those extra long putts, hands past the knees. We just added another width of, 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 of feet. So a short putt, this should be short of the cup. Stay inside the foot. There you go. Medium putt, should go just past the cup, to the foot. Go right to the net, pass. Okay, short, medium, and long. So a good drill would be set up right next to a hole, do a short, medium, and long putt away from the hole, and then try to putt them back into the hole. Okay, last thing we're going to look at is alignment. Every golf ball has a name written on it, right? It's, it's always written in the center of the golf ball, and it's always written in a straight line. Even Nike now has an arrow that they printed on the ball to help you line up your ball towards a target. Very important that you use your binocular vision. So if I'm lining up towards you, I would line up the name of the ball in the direction I want to go. If your putt breaks from left to right, I'll line it up to the left where I think that the ball will stop going up and start coming back down toward the hole. So I want to step back at least 10 feet and make sure that I like where the name of the ball is going. Right now I, I like where it's going, it's going straight toward my camera. Okay, now I'm going to set up parallel to this. The first time you do this, you're going to set up to the ball, you're going to look and you say, that can't be right. Because you're used to lining up from beside the ball. If you look at my eyes right now, they're coming out of my head so crooked, my vectors are completely flawed, and this is playing tricks on my mind, okay? So never trust your alignment from here. Always check from back here. So if you're teeing off, you've got 18 opportunities for perfect alignment on the golf course, use these opportunities to align yourself properly off every tee box. Line up the name of the ball to where you want to go, center the fairway, then you confirm from here, say, yes, that's going in that direction, great. Now, trust it. Get back to the ball. Okay, now all I've got to do is putter in the center. Get my speed. I like it. So you notice once I got to the ball, all that mattered was the speed. I checked, the line was fine, I made sure that my feet were parallel to the name of the ball, my putter face was perpendicular to the name of the ball, now my job is done for alignment. All that's left is how much momentum I need to get to the hole. It's a short, medium, and long putt. And it feels just like, like tossing a horseshoe, if I'm tossing a ball towards you, and I want to land it well in front of the camera, right on, that, right on the spot here, about five feet in front of me. I'll need about this much momentum. Perfect. If I'm going to land it over you, there's a nice wall behind you, 
we got some netting behind the camera, so don't worry. So I'm going to need more momentum. Okay? So it's the same thing here. I'm not applying more force to my putt. I just need to go back a little further to gather a little more momentum and let the weight of the arms, the weight of the shoulders, and the weight of the putter to swing through the ball for me. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that little putting lesson. Have fun with it and get me your comments, any questions that you might have. Feel free to ask. Thanks.